Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Craft That. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing DIY candles. And it came with this kit I got, and I'm so excited. If you saw a video that I did before, I tested out a lip gloss making kit, and you guys really liked it, and I had fun doing it, so I thought, why not test out a candle making kit? So that's what we're going to be doing, so let's get started. So here is the kit. I really like it, and I'm so excited to do it. And um, they're scented too, which is cool. And it's by Creative Kids. And you can get it. Here's the back. And this looks so much fun. And I can't wait to do it. Okay, so I took everything out of the packaging. And here is everything it comes with. Let's start looking at these. So these come in bubble wrap. So it must be something fragile. Okay, so they're little containers like little glass containers to put the candle in. And that one was a star. And then this one's almost like a bowl kind of shape. I don't really know. And then this last one's like the bowl shape, except it's flat on the bottom. So yeah, these look like some cute containers. I'm excited to make candles with these. And then it comes with this bag. And inside it, there's a lot of stuff. So first there's like this like spoon. It's like a measuring kind of spoon. It's green. Then it comes with this stick, which I read the directions and I think it's kind of like a storing stick or something. I don't know. Then it comes with the candle wick and some beads. Then it comes with a whole, well, then it comes with like a, that thing, I don't really know what it is, but it's a thing where like you put it in so it doesn't fly everywhere. And then it comes with a whole bunch of candles. And they almost look like little like balls, kind of. Like little round pieces of wax, kind of. Like if you see. And yeah, but this is gonna be so fun. So let's get right to it and start making these candles. Okay, so I have the directions and I read the first one. And it says to take the candle wick and put a bead on the end. So those are what the beads for, I was wondering. So here, okay, well first it says you can pick out this thing. So I'm gonna pick out this container and then I'm gonna pick out the beads and stuff. Okay, like if I can open this, I will. So I'm gonna get the wick and it's gonna like stand up like that. And then I'm gonna pick out a bead. I'm gonna do a pink bead because I just love pink. <laughs> so then you're gonna slide it on, just on the end. So like right there, and then you can slide it down. And then you're gonna put that to the side. It will look like this, but you're gonna put it to the side for now because it's not gonna stay. Then you're gonna pick out your colors. You can use one color, two colors, or three colors, or even five colors because it comes with five colors in the set. I'm gonna use three and I kinda wanna do watermelon, so I'm using green, white, and pink. So I'm gonna start with the green because that's like the bottom of the watermelon when you cut it. Yeah, like a watermelon slice. And you're gonna put your candle wick in. And then you're going to, to like snip the corner of the like packaging of like the wax kind of thing. And then you, oh, I think I need to snip it again. It's not gonna be able to come out. Okay. There we go, and then you're gonna pour it in. Just like so. So I'm just pouring it in. Remember, don't use the whole bag because you'll have two more candles to do. And if you wanna do green again, you won't have enough if you use it all. So make sure not to use it all. And then you can shake it to make sure it's all flat. And I'm gonna add in some more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good actually. I might be adding in some more and stuff and yeah, I don't know, I think I'm adding it. I think I'm gonna add some more. Okay, so I kinda got it over it. Okay, there, and now I'm gonna add in just a little bit more. It's kind of hard to like keep it flat and then know how much to add, but I'm just adding it by how much I like think looks good and stuff, but I'm also just saving some for another candle. So I think that's good and I'll see you guys when I'm done filling this up. Okay, so 
I finished doing the white and I did the, finished doing the green and then I put in some white and now I'm doing pink. So I'm just pouring it in and I'm probably gonna do a lot of pink because um, the like main part of the watermelon is the watermelon part. So I'm gonna do a lot and you can also use red but mine didn't come with red so I'm just gonna use pink instead. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it on and it's really messy so I gotta clean this up and stuff but I give you a little sneak peek until the big, but then I'll do the big reveal of what it actually looks like. So. Yeah, okay, kind of get it up there. Okay, and I'll do the big reveal after I clean this up. Okay guys, so I just want to um, tell you guys something before I do the big reveal of what it looks like. Um, you can cut the wick because mine was way too long. Like, it was like really tall, but you can also keep it how it is, but I think mine needed cut. So yeah, I'm just, I'm doing that. Okay, and I think that looks good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here is the reveal of what it looks like. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. Um, I like how it's the like watermelon kind of look because I love watermelon and the layers really worked. And you're probably wondering, don't you have to melt in the microwave before you be like so the wax doesn't go everywhere? But no. When you light it, it, it should. It should like melt down and it should be better. But I love it and it's so cute and this will be great room decor, so. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering what are these for? So these are for um, basically like this was like a little stick that was like you're supposed to mix the colors so it looks really cool, but I didn't use it because I didn't really want the colors to mix. And then this was you would put the wax down so it wouldn't go everywhere but I cannot see it. And then this, I thought it was a little bit big before you like wax. Okay guys, so making my other ones was so much fun. So I'm gonna make another one. So I'm gonna use this super cute star container. This one's really cute, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick out my, well first I'm gonna take the wick and then I'm gonna place the bead on that end. So, I need to get the bead out. Let me just get one. I'm gonna use a yellow one because the stars are usually yellow. Okay, here's the yellow one. And then I'm gonna put the bead on. And it's gonna be like that. But first, I, well, now I'm gonna pour in well now I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna pick out my colors and I picked out yellow and white. Actually, um, so now I'm just gonna snip the corners and I'm actually gonna try using this. And I'm gonna pour in some of it and I'm gonna do that. Let me see, is some going in there? Some is going in there, but it's like stuck. Let me pour in more. Okay, it's like stuck. I'm just gonna pour it in the other way. Okay, now it comes out. Wow, now it's coming out everywhere. Okay, what a, okay. And then I'm gonna shake it so it's leveled. Okay, I need to go clean this up, but I'll just deal with that later. Right now I'm, I'm gonna do that stuff. So now I'm gonna add in some white. Well, this like container is like, it's not that deep. So I don't know how it's gonna work, but. Okay, now I'm gonna go on with one more layer of yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna kinda spread it, even though it's, it's already messy. I'm just gonna spread it down. I'll clean it up. I'll clean this up after the video for this. Okay, and then I for, kind of forgot to put in the wick, but now it won't even go down. It won't go, it'll go down, it won't go down to the bottom. Okay, well, if you guys have this problem, just pour in some more on top so it gets buried. But now it's kind of like, it's like gonna overflow. But whatever, it's okay. Okay, so then I wanna try using that like stirring stuff and I wanna make design. So I'm like kinda like poking it in and you can kinda starting to see the white poke through. And it's actually looking pretty cool. I 
sizzle it a little bit. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I'm done like making the designs and stuff because this is really messy and I gotta go clean this up. So, yeah. Okay guys, so here's the reveal of this one and I thought the white wasn't gonna show up, but it actually is. If you can kind of see, there's like the white, if you like twist it around, you can kind of see it and I actually think it's pretty cool. I really like it. And you can um, make the wick shorter, but I think I'm just gonna leave this one because I like it. And yeah, this is pretty cute. Okay, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was probably one of the most messiest crafts I've done, but also one of the most fun. I love this craft, and you guys should totally get this kit. And the, the candles are made are so cute, and I'm so excited to light them, and I'm excited to make the last one. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and, like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!